welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you are here. I have my Bible and my notebook uh, all ready to go with today's message. Um, we're just going to do kind of like a little chat, uh, talk about some things that God's laid on my heart. But um, if you haven't done so already, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get right to it. So today's video is all about the why for your life and why your why is more important than your what. We're going to be talking about uh, what the Bible says God's purpose is for our life and how we can walk that out. The reason that I wanted to talk about this today is I feel like so many people uh, struggle with trying to find their purpose in life and that's myself included. Our world has trained us to believe that the most important thing that we can do in life, right, is find our purpose. That's the first thing we have to do and if we don't do that, then we're gonna be lost forever. From the time we were born, we were constantly um, being asked whether we realized it or not, what our purpose was or being told that we had to find our purpose. Um, you know, we might have been four years old when we were first asked, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And then we were continuously asked that. We're barely a sophomore in high school and everyone wants us to know, like, where you're going to college and what are you going to major in? And then your first week of your freshman year of college, you know, it's syllabus week and everyone wants to know uh, what you want to do after college, <laughs> right? What do you plan on doing with that degree or do you plan on going to more schooling? Um, or then maybe you finish or have your degree and everyone wants to know, like, well, what are you going to do? Did you find a job that you can use your degree with in a related career field? Or like, are you not gonna use your degree? Like everyone wants to know what our what is, right? What are we gonna be when we grow up? What are we going to school for? What are we gonna use our degree for? It's all about the what. Our world has just really programmed us and everyone in society into believing that our purpose was finding our what. And then whatever that what is, <laughs> was our purpose for our life and every path that we take. So I found this blog post um, that really just like hits uh, the nail on the head. I, I don't know, you know the saying. <laughs> I came across this post that really explained the situation for me. Um, so I just wanna read that to you. It's from like Inc or incorporated.com. Not really sure how you say that, but I'll link uh, the blog post below. One of the like subsections was, you look for a career before you listen for a calling. Oof. <laughs> so it reads, our society has reduced success to a list of boxes to be checked. Graduate from school, partner up, have kids, settle into a well-defined career path, and hang on until retirement checks can be collected. <laughs> this well-worn path pushes people in the direction of conformity not purpose. We're so busy avoiding self-induced fears of not being fill in the blank enough, smart enough, creative enough, pretty enough, that we rarely stop and ask, am I happy and fulfilled? And if not, how should I go about changing things? Y'all, I read this and I was just like, oh my goodness, this is talking to me. This is like what's on my heart right now. This is so true, right? We're so worried about not being blank enough um, that we're not focusing on the right things. God never said that our life was about our what, but he did say that it was about our why. Isaiah 43, seven reads, bring all who claim me as their God, for I have made them for my glory. It was I who created them. Listen, God is all about <laughs> his glory. It says here, God created us for his glory. Right in the Bible, it explains. So a lot of the times I think we get caught up because right, we are so trained to ask ourselves what our purpose in life was and that if we didn't you know, feel like we were fully enjoying the work that we were doing, that we hadn't found our purpose and we were lost and we weren't following God's way. But here's the truth. God created us for his glory. So to me, you know, it's kind of comforting. We can find comfort in knowing that, you know, no matter what we're doing, if we're bringing glory to God, then we're living his purpose. No matter what career field you're doing, or maybe you feel like you aren't exactly reaching people, or you feel like your purpose isn't being fulfilled, and you want to just keep reaching for what's my purpose in life, and this can't be it. I know this isn't it. But guys, <laughs> if you're bringing glory to God, then you are fulfilling his purpose for you. Ephesians 2.10 reads, 
for we are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us so long ago. God already planned great things for us. He planned for us to love his children. He planned for us to give glory to him. He planned for us to just be a light in the world. God didn't create you so that you could struggle your whole life trying to nail down what exactly you're supposed to be doing in life and then you'll be fulfilled. God created you so that we can do these good things that he has planned for us. Matthew 5 verses 14 through 16 read, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. That's why we're created. We're created to be such a light, to do good deeds, to love on people so that other people around us can notice the change in our hearts and notice that God's love is surrounding us and notice how good that is. No matter what your job is, no matter how lost or stuck you feel, no matter how misplaced you feel, no matter how much you feel like you're not fulfilling your purpose. You can smile at a person, you can say hi, you can hold the door open, you can just offer a compliment or encouraging word. You can be a light for Christ in that way, right? In that way where our good deeds are bringing people in and they're able to witness that that's what it means to have a relationship with God, that that's what it means to be a Christian, that's living your life purpose. That's our why. We keep hearing, you know, find your what. That's your purpose. Your purpose is your what. It's your career. It's how many, you know, how big your family is. It's this, this, this. That's your purpose. It's your what. What are you going to do in this life? That is your purpose. I'm here to tell you that that's not true. God didn't create us for our what, he created us for our why. Why were we created? To be a light of his kingdom, to bring people to him, to bring people to praise him, right? To do good deeds, to love his children. That's why when you know your why, your what doesn't matter. When you know your why, your what does not matter. Because no matter what your what is, no matter if your what is working this job or in this job or this shift, or it's you know doing this, 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 and this is my schedule, no matter what that looks like, if you know your why, your what does not matter. Because you can be a light of Christ anywhere you are. You can love people anywhere you are. So please don't feel hopeless or like you're stuck in your job or you're not, you know, I'm not filling out my life's purpose. When you know that your day to day, the reason you're doing it is so that you can share the love of God with people so that you can let other people feel joy and show them how to feel joy. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter what your what is. You're already completing your why, and that is your purpose. And I just want to share this little revelation I had for myself this week. I was in my devotion time reading his word, and this was after like a few days of just kind of having that message placed on my heart of needing to know my why. It led me to like question like, well, what's my why, right? I need to learn that. Once I know my why, then my what doesn't matter. I wasn't even thinking about that question at the time. I was just doing like daily devotional, just reading some of his word, praying, talking to him, you know, seeing what he was going to reveal to me. And he showed up big time because he answered that question for me so clear. So there's this section in 2 Corinthians 5 called We Are God's Ambassadors. Um, it's verses 11 through 21. I'm not going to read that whole section, but I am going to read the verses that I have underlined here and the verses that really brought me clarity of understanding what my why in this life is. So we are God's ambassadors. Verse 11 begins, because we understand our fearful responsibility to the Lord, we work hard to persuade others. God knows we are sincere and I hope you know this too. I love verse 13. It says, if it seems we are crazy, it is to bring glory to God. And remember, bringing glory to God is God's purpose for our life. So if I ever, you know, seem crazy, a little crazy about Jesus, 
I am, right? <laughs> I am crazy about Jesus. I am crazy about the gospel and everything that he can do for us. I am crazy about bringing glory to him because that is his call for my life and for all of our lives, right, as Christians. So I am absolutely fine with seeming a little crazy because it is all for him and all for his glory. Verse 15, he died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Instead, they will live for Christ who died and was raised for them. 16 continues, so we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view, how differently we know him now. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. The next couple of verses were when God revealed himself to me and he said, you know, I know you've been questioning what is my why and you've been struggling with this a little bit. But here it is, right? I even underlined it. <laughs> this is our task. This is my why, right? Like put it in my notes because he had revealed that to me. Verse 18 through 20 read, And all of this is a gift from God who brought us back to himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconciling people to him. For God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself no longer counting people's sins against them. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. So we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead, come back to God. Guys, this was revealed to me, right? I had been praying and thinking like, what is my why, God? God, tell me my why so that my what won't matter anymore. And this is my why. And I think this is all of our whys as Christians. We are God's ambassadors. He gave us this task of bringing people back to him, right? That's my why. So knowing that it doesn't matter what I am doing because every day I am living to be God's ambassador. I am living to bring people back to the cross. That's my why. So it doesn't matter what I'm doing or where I am, I can find hope and peace and enjoy my life because I know that I am bringing people to Jesus, right? In any way that I can. Remember, when you know your why, your what does not matter. So it doesn't matter what my what is, because I am living my why, I am being an ambassador for Christ. <sighs> that revelation was huge for me. That revelation brought me out of right the chains of being so consumed and so obsessed with trying to figure out what my what is my what doesn't matter right i'm getting to live in my why each and every day i really just want to close out this uh video this discussion about what our why is and why it's our why that matters by just reading this section in ephesians the section i want to read is paul's prayer for spiritual growth and today this is my prayer for all of you when I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious, unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Guys, that is my prayer for you. I pray that you can realize just how good his love is. I pray that you can realize that he's already given us our why. Maybe you need to define that why specifically for yourself and for your relationship with him. But I'm just so thankful that we have a father with such a deep and wide and vast love for us. When the world told us that our purpose in life was our what and gave us a list of boxes to check off or otherwise we weren't living our life's purpose, God came to us in his word and he said, no, you are living your life's purpose. Once you know your why, your what does not matter. Live for my glory, spread love throughout the people in this world, and you're living your purpose. So please, I know it's hard, I know it can be scary, 
but stop obsessing over what your what is. Your what will come in time, you'll have different what's in different seasons, and if you keep chasing after your what, then you're gonna keep chasing, because once you find it, something will change, and you'll have to go and find your what all over again. When you know your why, you are rooted in your life's purpose forever. You are rooted in knowing why you were created. You are rooted in knowing why you are living this life and why we can enjoy it because we are living our life's purpose. So thanks so much for watching. I really enjoy every time I get to sit down and just talk with all of you. Um, if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate all your support. Uh, I am so thankful that I get to do this. I get to make videos. I am so thankful uh, that I get to live my why and my life's purpose in bringing all the glory to him. I pray that you can leave here encouraged knowing that you do have a purpose. So you don't have to listen to what the world tells you your purpose should be or shouldn't be because God already told you when he created us. So thanks again so much for watching and I can't wait to see you again soon.